One month ago, a viewer emailed me after cutting fiber from her diet. Her bloating vanished. Her energy soared. But another swore that adding fiber was the only thing that finally fixed her digestion. So which is it? How can fiber be both healing and harmful? Today, we will explore the missing piece of the puzzle that almost nobody's talking about. This doesn't just explain why fiber works for some and backfires for others. It could also explain why your entire gut strategy might be upside down and how to fix it. I am Dr. Lucia Aronica, lecturer in epigenetics and nutrigenomics at Stanford University. Here's what we are unpacking today. First, why fiber may trigger inflammation in some people. Second, the wild link between fiber, your microbiome, and your genes. And third, how fermented foods may be an overlooked key to transforming your digestion. Let's dive in. First, a quick refresher. Fiber isn't one thing. It's a family of complex carbs found in plants that we can't digest. There's soluble fiber from foods like oats, apples, and chia seeds, and insoluble fiber from things like green leafy vegetables, wheat bran, and nuts. Both are praised for balancing blood sugar, improving regularity, and even binding to carcinogens in the food we eat. But here's the catch. Not everyone experiences those benefits. Most people think fiber is just about digestion, but the real story is much deeper and more interesting. Fiber acts as a prebiotic, which means it fuels your gut bacteria. These then produce postbiotics, tiny compounds that travel through your bloodstream and can switch genes on and off through a process called epigenetics. This means that the food you eat doesn't just feed you, it talks with your DNA and what your gut replies shapes your entire body, from inflammation to mood, from cancer risk to immune health. But here's the twist. A landmark Stanford study found that when people increased their fiber intake, their immune responses varied dramatically. Those with high microbiome diversity, many types of gut bacteria, the inflammation went down. But those with low microbiome diversity, fewer types of bacteria, the inflammation went up. Same food opposite effect. That's the problem with one-size-fits-all advice. Eat more fiber, maybe healing you or slowly fueling the fire that is keeping you sick. So what can you do? Before going all in with fiber, you need to build the right gut ecosystem. And here's where fermented foods like yogurt and sauerkraut come in. They contain all three. Prebiotics, fiber, probiotics, the bacteria, and postbiotics, the epigenetic messengers themselves. Think of them like the three musketeers of your gut, all for one and one for all. They work together to lower inflammation, promote the growth of new types of bacteria, so higher microbiome diversity, and communicate with your genes. Therefore, fermented foods don't just feed your gut. They seed it with the building blocks it needs to thrive. Compare that with probiotic pills that often fall flat without prebiotic fuel, like planting seeds in 
dry soil. In fact, the same Stanford study found that unlike fiber, fermented foods consistently lowered inflammation even in those with low microbiome diversity. So here's your playbook. Step one, start with the fermented foods. These lays the microbial foundation for your gut to handle fiber without flaring up. Focus on refrigerated live culture options like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, and kombucha. Look for ones without added sugar. Start with one to two servings a day, slowly building to five to six servings a day. And this is important, avoid shelf-stable and pasteurized versions. They've lost all the probiotic benefits. Step two. After four to six weeks of fermented foods, slowly increase your fiber intake about five grams each day until you reach 40 grams total. And step three, maintain and simplify. Once your system is stable, keep feeding it and avoid microbiome disruptors like ultra-processed foods, sugar, and medications like antibiotics and PPI when possible. The reason why fiber is so controversial? We forget that biology is not black and white. What heals one body might harm another. So don't ask, is fiber good or bad? Ask, is my gut ready for it? Because when you combine the right foods in the right order for your unique biology, you don't just improve digestion, you rewrite your health story from the inside out. And if you enjoyed this video, you will love this one right here. Stay curious, stay critical, and stay tuned. Ciao!